Today we are looking at the video of uh, Manjaro Linux 23.0 which is released a few hours ago. So here is a boot menu of Manjaro Linux 23.0. So this is a live boot. Let's uh, quickly boot it in a live boot. It's going to take a few seconds to load up. So Manjaro 23.0 uh, was released like a few hours ago. Maybe like uh, 10 to 12 hours ago. I didn't release, uh, read the release notes or anything like that. So after booting, let's go to their official website and I'm going to show you the release notes and uh, downloading process. And I'm going to show everything in this tutorial. And uh, it, it will be like a quick run through and all these things like a settings, apps, all the things. I'll be opening all the uh, apps and uh, features. So it's going to take a few seconds to load up here. And this is a GNOME desktop environment. I will be making other desktop environment videos also. They will be available uh, today. I'll be posting two videos daily. So a GNOME desktop environment or maybe a KDE or some desktop environment will be available today. Because this is the first video. So I don't know uh, what I'll be making after this video. But there will be two videos available right now in the uh, in my channel. So do let uh, you check it out that too. It roughly takes like a 30 to 40 seconds uh, in my laptop. It will be different. So here is the uh, Manjaro Linux Uranus 23.0. I think this is the core name uh, which is uh, Uranus. So let's first quickly change the display resolution. I'm running it on a VMware. So remember that too. Uh, I'm using like a 4GB of RAM for my uh, VMware. And uh, the processor is a 12th gen i5. So let's quickly see the version of the installer. This is not an installer. This is a welcome screen uh, 0.7.1. So let's close this thing. So let's open the system monitor so we can get a uh, rough uh, information of uh, how much of resources it consumes. This is the main part or the uh, basic thing you need to do before uh, running any Linux distro. You need to understand how much of uh, resources it will consume so that it is uh, uh, helpful to use this Linux distro on the PC or not. If you have a low end PC, you need to uh, check this out first because uh, some Linux distro will be consuming uh, high resources. So it will be a good idea there. So the RAM side, it is like a 1.4 GB of a 4 GB of RAM. And here is the CPU. It's pretty stable. As you can see, this is common in every Linux distro. Uh, there will be a high peak in the uh, beginning of the uh launching of the linux distro in the beginning so ignore this thing and uh, check this thing so there is a constant uh or the stable uh, graph in the cpu just here so this is the uh cpu and ram ignore the network it's uh, different for everyone so these are all the processes running right now so I'm going to keep it aside throughout the uh, video so that you will be uh, seeing uh, the high peak and low peak in the system resources. I'm going to keep that aside throughout the uh, end of the video. So let's open the uh, Firefox web browser and uh, check it out the release notes of Manjaro Linux 23.0 Uranus. So that is pretty fast. Let's check the version of the Firefox web browser. Try to ignore some uh, stuttering voice because I'm uh, I woke up right now. It is a bit tired. So the version is uh, 117 of Firefox web browser. So they already gave the uh, URLs of the uh, website. So let's quickly click on that. If you don't have any uh, URL, you can just type it in like a Manjaro Linux in the uh, search bar. 
So this is the uh, official website which is uh, manjaro.org. So let's see uh, they release some like a release notes or something like that. So we can see what is the uh, new in the 23.0 version. Let's go to download section. So you need to choose your architecture to download here. Uh, mine is 64 bit. You can go with uh, ARM devices if you have like a M1, M2. So the main desktops environment are like a plasma desktop, XFC and GNOME. Right now I'm making a video of uh, GNOME and uh, I'll be making like a XFC and plasma because I'll be posting two videos. So the one is uh, GNOME desktop and uh, we'll choose that later. So in order to download, just click on download. You should be having like a minimal and full desktop environment, full uh, ISO file. So this is uh, uh, minimal, you already know what you will get in the minimal and full uh, you will be getting everything here so the options for downloading is like a torrent and a HTTPS which is uh, like uh, downloading in your browser you can download with uh, torrent or you can directly download in with uh, download managers or a browser manager which will download you know that so let's quickly click on the uh, image file the file size should be around like a 3G I guess Yep, it is 3.5 GB. So let me close this thing. I don't see any uh, release notes here. So let's try to figure it out. So they changed the website few days ago. So it is, uh, I think uh, the news will be in the blog usually. So let's uh, check it out the blog of the Manjaro Linux. So we don't have any release notes here. So I'll be posting the release notes in my description. You don't need to worry about that. So let's uh, explore everything on our own. The version is uh, 117 for the web browser. So let's open the uh, terminal command. And type in some commands to get some of the distro information. So let's check the version of the uh, terminal. The version is here. So let's type in few commands here. For example, inxi. So the kernel version is a 6.5.0.1. And here are some of the information which is INXI version is 3.3.29. So let's type in another command which is INXI dash small b. So the host is Manjaro GNOME. You already saw the kernel version. So the version of the GNOME desktop environment is 44.4 and the distro is Manjaro Linux. And I'm running it on a VMware so it says as a VMware. So here is my CPU as you can see, here is my display resolution, OpenGL version is a 4.3, Mesa is 23.1.6-2, XVLAN version is 23.2, and XORGE version is a 1.21.1.8, VMWGFX version 2.20, and the display is x11 let's type in another command which is uh, inxi dash small g not small g it's a capital g so here is the information so let's type in another command which is inxi dash sv8 this is the same command as the above one but it will give you the information in a one shot form so here is all the information you need of the distro which is Clang, GCC, Compiler, all the information is here. I'm not going to uh, read all these things, you just pause the video and you can check it out. So these are all the information. So let's type in NeoFetch. I think NeoFetch is uh, pre-installed. Nope. In you can install it uh, on your own if you want. So let's type in another command cat colon slash 
etc issue so the password is a manjaro and the user is manjaro so this will be helpful uh, if you want to uh, like bypass any password not bypass you need to log in uh, these are the login credentials so let's type in first up if it's green then it's installed and if it's red it is not installed or uh, like a error thing so here is the hstop for some of the users who need to see the hstop so we got all the information so let's close this thing and let's go to the uh, desktop features so here is the package manager here are some of the desktop features like uh, internet connection cow mode dark style or light theme uh, i always prefer like a light theme i like the light theme or the white color theme it's my opinion it will be different for you so here is the date and time calendar all these things activities or workspace you can call it like that so these are all the pre-installed apps which comes with the manjaro linux uh, 23.0 uranus uh, gnome desktop environment let's go with the test uh, tweaks so here is the uh, extensions or uh, tweaks on the general you have here and the appearance fonts keyboard on uh, mouse startup applications top you can customize these are all some of the customization uh, things you can do it on your own so i'm not going through all these things because it will take a lot of time and the may it will make a video uh, way lengthier so let's check out the uh, desktop wallpapers which are available with the 23.0 version it is pretty quick and uh, it looks uh, very stable in my opinion it is in the vmware so it is still uh, good i don't know how it performs after installing but in the vmware it looks pretty good so these are all the uh, wallpapers and we have like a high peak in the cpu and it's uh, after i said it is stable but it is having some of uh, issues i guess as you can see the cpu here there is a high peak and uh, we saw some of the uh, uh, freeze in the uh, gnome desktop environment not a big freeze just a normal uh, hiccups so these are all the wallpapers available and we have like a normal uh, running cpu right now and everything is going good just in uh, like here it was a bit of freeze in the uh, gnome desktop environment so these are all the wallpapers available so let's go through all the uh, settings quickly so this is the network you already know all these things in the gnome desktop environment so there is nothing new here let me go through or run through all these things multitasking you can customize these are all the customization things it's clearly up to you uh, to customize these things like notifications all these things privacy it's always a good option to turn off everything location cameras only when you uh, need it you can just turn it on when it is not needed just turn it off because it's uh, uh, privacy things you need to be very careful just turn it off uh, when you don't use it uh, just use it uh, turn it on uh, when you're using so that's what i'm trying to say here online accounts you can provide the online accounts here if you want on the sharing these are all the sharing options the sound power balance power saver i don't want to put my screen blank so i'm going to put it never so this is the display you can change the, your uh, resolution so refresh it it's uh, 60 hertz uh, my monitor is like a 165 hertz but uh, in linux so you get 60 hertz i guess mouse and touchpad natural scroll scrolling if you have uh, if you're like a left-hander you can go with uh, left or right i'm ambidextrous it's uh, uh, no problem for me i can use left right everything so keyboard 
printer you can add printers here if you want removable disk color region and language you can change anything you want it's clearly up to you accessibility you can customize this thing according to your uh, preference like a seeing hearing or like a typing pointing and uh, clicking zoom it's clearly customizable it's clearly up to you so this is a live boot so uh, the password will be manjaro and the uh, user will be manjaro you can customize this thing uh, when you go with the installation you can change these things and you need to change those things so default apps i'm going to show you the installation process in a few seconds so let's uh, check it out other things like a time zone i'm going to choose like a los angeles or anything like that so this is the about we already saw uh, every information in the command uh, in the terminal command so this is the few information here so check this out too if you having like updates you can update here by software and updates going through all these things so let's close this thing and go with the installation process right now so the apps are opening pretty quick that's a good sign we just found like a 10 seconds of a freeze in the entire video uh, that means it's still good and uh, you may be seeing the graph uh, throughout the video so it's clearly up to you to choose uh, the desktop environment of gnome or other desktop environment i'll be making that video uh, after this video so you will be having like uh, all the desktop environments available in front of you you can pick any uh, desktop environment you want so let's go with the installation you need to choose the language here so again this is the basic uh, installation steps there is nothing complicated in the installation process so you don't need to be worried here so first choose your language then go with the location you don't need to provide your actual location you can provide any location you want so here is a drop down menu and uh, here is a pointer map pointer you can point it right here if you know the uh, maps or you can just uh, go with the drop down menu so some of some of the customization it's clearly up to you to customize click on next like a system language will be set to american english united states you can change it by going through like a i'm choosing english united states you can choose anything you want here so there are uh, other uh, languages available uh, in right here in different format so these are the number and date so you need to read everything while choosing uh, these options or you can just go with the normal uh, basic information click on next here is a keyboard selection or a keyboard model mine is dell but it says as a generic 105 key pc so i'm going with it it works every time for me so i don't need to worry about that thing so here are the uh, other keyboards and the keyboard uh, selections or you can just type it here or test it here it's clearly customizable click on next after selecting that so you need to first uh, choose your like a, a hard disk for the installation if you are going with the live boot you don't need to uh, go with the installation you can just uh, use the live boot for a few hours it's always a good option uh, when whenever the uh, linux iso files are released or the linux distros are released it's always a good option to go with the live boot first and go with the installation later so you can uh, get an idea of to use or install that linux distro so if you found any bugs in the live boot you can just ignore the uh, linux distro so that is the benefit of a live boot so uh, i will be uh, giving you advice that it's always a good option to use the uh, live boot for like a two to three hours after you're satisfied then go with the installation on your hard disk so if you found any bugs or anything just ignore this and uh, wait for the point updates they will be releasing in a like a bug fixes there in the point updates 
so after satisfied with the live boot go with the installation it's clearly up to you so you need to ch uh, first choose the hard disk you need to be very careful here because it's going to erase everything like a media files current operating system everything so be careful while choosing this option and if you don't know anything about this there are other tutorials uh, people make uh, or other channels make the uh, installation of uh, how to install the linux distro so you can check that out uh, in other channels i didn't make any videos maybe in the past i don't remember properly so i'm not going to clearly say you need to check it out in my channel it's a good option to check out other option other channels to get this information so if you already a pro user or a linux user you already know how to install so no need to worry about that so after choosing the hard disk here are some of the options ext4 btrfs all these things you can choose anything you want if you want to go with the manual partitioning you can go with it uh, this is option like a dual booting or the dual partitions options so it will give you the options of a dual operating system or a dual boot uh, operating systems so this is the option for that and uh, if you choose this uh, rs disk it's going to delete current operating system and it's going to install the manjaro 23.0 uh, in your pc so if you want to encrypt your system you can encrypt by providing the password and the password should be uh, same in the both the boxes so i don't want to do that so here is the current and uh, after so you can choose your master bootloader uh, uh, bootloader location sorry i'm uh, i woke up right now so it will be a bit stuttering in my voice try to ignore that so you can do that later too if you are a pro user or a uh, advanced user it's clearly up to you so after choosing it i'm going to keep it as a default click on next and you need to provide like a username password all these things here it is compulsory so be careful to remember everything what you do here for example i'm providing like a username and the password for the sake of the video i'm just going to give the simple password you need to provide the strong password for the privacy reason so if everything is going good you should be seeing a tick mark here and you need to provide the password uh, like a same password in the both the boxes and uh, login automatically without asking for the password i'm checking this option and use the same password for the administrator account you can change the password for the administrator account by providing the other password or you can just uh, put the same password as the above after, uh, after doing everything uh, try to remember and uh, write it down in some uh, like a diary or a book so it will be uh, helpful if you forget any time the password it will be available in your book so it's a good option to write it down so after choosing this click on next and here is the office switch uh, if you want you can go with the no office switch or library office or free office it's clearly up to you it's always a good option go with the best one so if you choose free office you can choose that one or library office you can choose anything you want it's clearly up to you in my case i'm choosing library office and uh, this is a summary of whatever you choose in the previous installation steps i choose the time zone as los angeles keyboard english keyboard model partition all these things after clicking on install it's going to take like a five to ten minutes it clearly depends on your pc there is no rough uh, or a uh, time here so it completely depends on the uh, pc so after the installation you should be having the uh, Linux distro installed on your PC so that's the installation process I'm not going to install it uh, because I don't want to because I want to make another uh, desktop environments like uh, XFC and KDE plasma so that's the reason I'm not going to install it so that's the installation process let's go with the applications and find out what are all the applications available here in the first book of uh, in the applications first you have like a gary and here we have some of the applications let's quickly open some of the app and see whether it's stable or not so these are some of the applications let's open like a weather 
so let's open like a bunch of apps and see uh, whether it handles a good or it crashes so let's open like a 10 to 12 apps and uh, check it out on our own like open disk let's even open like open like a uh, extensions i'm trying to open like a uh, every app so that uh, whether it's stable or not we will be getting an idea of that so let's open calculator clocks and like a connection also let's even open the file manager text editor software manager dynamic wallpaper is also available i didn't see that so let's even open that under the games we have like a four common games so i don't want to open the games let's open the maps gradients g thumb uh, videos layered feature document scanner that, that's a lollipop let's even open that we open like uh, almost like a uh, 6 8 10 12 14 16 17 apps so it's still going good there is no crash or anything like that under the office suite you have some of the apps let's open calendar contacts let's even open the document viewers under the system tools we already opened the system monitor so let's open uh, node fire let's even open the uh, firewall configuration there's already a bunch of apps that's still going good that's pretty good I don't know how it performs on the after installation so it's a uh, uh, live boot so remember that too and i'm running it on a vmware so remember that uh, so it will be helpful after uh, installation if you choose the installation it will be different do let me know if if you choose the installation or if you use the installation option or you are running the uh, manjaro 23.0 on your main pc so this is the live boot so i know how it performs in a live boot so if you install this in your main pc or hard uh, hard disk do let me know in the comment section so it will be helpful for other viewers too let's open gparted if you found any bugs or anything like that uh, do let me know in the comment section below so it will help other viewers too and it will help uh, me too so let's open the other apps which are available i think we didn't open the disk usage analyzer let's open that too let's go with the other workspace and open other apps let's open web apps and apps i think we pretty much opened every uh, app in the uh, distro so let's open the system monitor and check the system monitor let's minimize all this uh, top apps so here is the system monitor right now uh, the memory is almost like a 3.6 gb of 4 gb and the cpu is going stable there is no high peak just uh, here and there there is not a constant uh, high peak in the graph so it's pretty good in the gnome desktop environment ram is almost 3.6 gb uh, it's uh, okay because we open like uh, almost 20 apps it's consuming a uh, right amount of uh, memory in my opinion so these are all the uh, system resources as you can see we opened like a 20 apps almost maybe more i don't know we opened almost every available apps in the gnome desktop environment of manjaro linux so this is the information of the all the apps so let's keep it aside and uh, close all the applications and find uh, 
the system resources so let's check out the uh, about information of every app so lollipop version is here let's close this thing so the doc document scanner version is here 44.0 so the most uh, of apps will be like a 44 uh, because the desktop environment itself is a 44 gnome desktop 44 so the apps uh, which comes with the gnome desktop environment uh, pre-installed will be uh, having a version of 44 so the gradients I understand the consequences read everything if you want you can customize these things I am not going to go through all these things this is a layered feature you can choose the uh, basic or the gnome desktop environment or you can choose other options like a mac os all the things like this reload desktop apply so the four options available is a manjaro traditional tiling and gnome so you can choose anything you want here it's clearly customizable so uh, you can customize everything on your own i'm not going to do that because it's going to it's already a lot of uh, lengthy video so the gtham version is here so let's close this thing also then you wallpaper you can customize these things so i'm not going to do that our version is 0.1.0 file manager 44.2.1 G edit version is 44.2 so already mentioned the version will be almost everything will be like a 44 point something like that so 44.0 clocks calculator version is uh, 44.0 itself let's close it extensions some customizations about extensions 44.4 let's close this thing about weather almost you get every app with uh, 44.0 so discs also here so let's go to other workspace maps 44.4 keep an eye on the uh, cpu and the ram connections it should be going down because we are closing almost every app videos the version will be like a 44 so it will be available in the package manager document viewer calendar 44.1 awesome disk usage analyzer 44.0 departed will be uh, different because 1.5.0 here is a firewall you can customize the firewall according to your options 22.04.0 rules report log profile home public office it's clearly customizable to you it's uh, clearly up to you notification settings you can customize this thing also contacts let's check the version of the contacts it should be 44 so let's close this thing also just a few apps web apps you can add the url here for example let me add my url 9 to file linux this is my channel uh, url let me add my channel url youtube.com forward slash 9 to file linux it will automatically open the icon uh, if you type in like a twitter or something it will be changed to twitter the available uh, urls uh, icons will be automatically changed uh, if it, it is not available you can click on it and uh, customize clearly up to you like you can browse it here for example twitter so like this you can change uh, according to your options so let's click on ok here it is my uh, channel url by double clicking on it it will directly take to my channel 
so you can add anything you want you just if you want to just add like a youtube you can just like uh, type in youtube.com that's it it will be added like that so we saw about so let's close this thing also so that was not the latest feature in the manjaro it was available in the past versions also if you want to check that out you, there are uh, other versions of manjaro linux which is 22 21 i made all the videos from the past six years so every uh, manjaro linux uh, version will be available in the channel so let's get back to the video so there is also uh, in the application grid it was a shortcut uh, uh, in the application grid so lastly we have like a uh, applications or the software manager so let's uh, so as you can see cpu and ram went down so try to uh, check the uh, beginning of the video and ending of the video how much of resources it is i think the ram was 1.4 gb in the beginning of the video right now it's uh, 2.1 gb after uh, opening all the applications features uh, wallpapers settings all the things so right now it's a 2.1 gb of ending at the ending of the video after closing the uh, software manager let's uh, check it out the memory so right now these are all the pre-installed apps and there are some updates available so you can update it if you want installed these are all the installed apps if you can't see that you can change the speed to uh, 0.25 by default it should be like a 1.0 you can change uh, the speed to 0.25 in youtube settings and you should be seeing in a slow motion so there is everything up to date so nothing to update here about the mac is 11.6.0.04-2 uh, so this is all the major linux 23.0 gnome desktop environment right now it's almost a 1.9 gb it will eventually come down to like a 1.8 1.7 gb and cache is 1.1 gb so these are all the processes at the end of the video so that was the manjaro linux 23.0 gnome desktop environment so this is a lock screen the password is Manjaro. So I think that's it for the video. So let's end the video here. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. It helps make a good content for you. Other than that, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. So after watching this video, if you want to check other desktop environments, there is already a video available in the channel. So do let uh, check that video also. So peace out. Bye. Uh -huh.